guys, it's time for another... Okay, so yeah, I forgot to make a thankful Thursday yesterday. I just forgot, okay? I just, I just forgot. In my defense, on Tuesday, I thought that it was Monday, and on Wednesday, I thought that it was Tuesday, so I've been all messed up all week. And I forgot. But the point of Thankful Thursdays is to, once a week, really show how much we appreciate things. So it doesn't, it's not about the day. The day was picked solely on alliteration, for God's sake. So this week, I'm doing it on Friday. Guys, it hurts really bad to even be wearing clothes right now. I have a terrible sunburn. Okay, so last week I talked about how thankful I was to get to have a party that Friday for my birthday. And as a result of having a party with close friends, you know, automatically you get some presents. And I would just feel terrible if I didn't say how thankful I was for those, so I'm going to show those to you. I'm gonna keep this card forever. It's hilarious. <laughs> and I love sushi so much. I love this card so much. Uh, this is hilarious. I can always count on someone to get me batteries. I actually just had to change the batteries in the middle of filming this because I go through batteries really quickly. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. My friends, they're just hilarious. Not not that this isn't super thoughtful. Well, I guess the ones that are hilarious are just as thoughtful, but like in a slightly different way. Do you know what I mean? Like, I love those gifts where I unwrap it and I just burst into laughter. And this was one of them. It's just hilarious that my friend Mangosity would even think of this. The complete 26 episode series of Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century. My, it, it will take my Sherlock Holmes obsession to new levels. My friend Big Bang Lover gave me a gift card to Trader Joe's, which I'm totally going to blow on chocolate. And I Burned a House gave me an Amazon gift card, which I have already started using. And Lucy Panda, her gift is going to be to take me shopping tomorrow, which, you know, I wasn't going to argue with that. I, I may not be the girliest girl, I may not be the biggest shopper, but I am not going to object to shopping if somebody else is paying. And I, I will probably show you the things that we get, and yeah, maybe next week that, that will be the thing. The stuff that comes in the mail from my Amazon card, and the stuff that we buy on Saturday, I'll show you next week, okay? My, my bestest buddy, the YouTuber formerly known as IsatRack135, also gave me an Amazon gift card, but it was, it was quite a sum of money. I mean, for, for us, for how much we regularly spend on friends, it, it was a big chunk, and I'm very grateful. It was very sweet. I am going to buy all the books, so, so really, I'm especially, I'm especially grateful for that. But as wonderful as those were, because I really appreciate the money spent and I really appreciate that those actually were really considerate because they were exactly what I wanted. I think that the gift that has touched my heart the most is probably the simplest and smallest one. Um, my friend Mangosity and I are really, really close. Like close in a way that some people can't even ma imagine to have a friend as close as we are, and uh, we always make this joke that our destinies are intertwined, and half of it just comes from the fact that we're obsessed with fantasy, but the other half comes from her being my friend being really obsessed with this video game uh, called Kingdom Hearts. I wouldn't put it past you to have heard of it. And um, in this video game, if, if two people eat from this same fruit, it means their destinies are intertwined and they will always come back to each other. And anyone who's watched for a while may remember that 
I, for my last birthday actually, she gave me um, a little stuffed animal that she crocheted that was supposed to look like David Tennant, and I really, really loved that. But um, this time, to represent how close we are and that our destinies are intertwined, she crocheted me a palpu fruit. Um, in this little thing, it just, especially with how close we've been lately, it just represents so much to me. And she threw it to me and I thought that it was a joke. Um, and I thought it was just hers because she's really, because she really likes the video game. And I threw it back and then she's like, why are you throwing it back? It's for you. And the moment that I realized it was for me, I was just like, oh my gosh, because it, it's hard to explain what a relationship is like and why it meant so much to me, but it meant so much to me. I, I really appreciate how amazingly fun it was. Um, it was a great time and I'm really thankful for that and I'm really sorry that this is late. I forgot, okay? I'm sorry! And I'm sorry if I screwed anything up or anybody else. Uh, because they were expecting Thursday, and it's Friday, and I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm thankful that you're forgiving me, because you're forgiving me, right? I'm so thankful that you will forgive me, me, please. That's it for this week, thankful Friday. I'd love it if you'd tell me in the comment section below what you're thankful for this week. Uh, I, I love you guys. Bye-bye. Look at that line. Oh, I don't know if you can tell how red it is, because it doesn't look as red in the screen as I see in the mirror, but it hurts. And yeah, 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 if you're gonna comment, you've had worse. Yeah, I've had worse too. But it doesn't change that it hurts. I am like a vampire.